everyone, I'm back today, and today I'm going to review the figure which I just got. The McFarlane Jason Voorhees figurine, 7 inches. And at first, like I said, I didn't know what part the movie was from. Because I thought it said it was from part 7, but to me it looks more like it's from part 9, Jason Goes to Hell. Because it has all the, like, because I saw pictures of part 7, and it doesn't look like that. So I'm going to get on to reviewing the figure. The articulation is pretty stiff. It only has like four hip articulation. Very stiff leg articulation. It's arm articulation. That is. His hand is used to display and wield his weapon, the guy with his machete. He has two other weapons. He has his machete. He has an axe with blood stains on it. I like it. I'm firm with the axe. But Looks cool on him. And he also has a harpoon. That's what I believe it's called. It's not as much blood stain, but it can pose with that. And also the mask. When this figure was made, the mask was intended to be removable. So in some figurines, so they, they glued the mask on by separate with a toothpick and a I put some so the mat can come off and you can see there is his face. Very gross and disgusting. So on the side. And here is his mask. Looks pretty cool. I mean I use clay as an adjective so I can take the mask on and off the figurine. And let's make a quick comparison and I'll put the machine back in his hand. And here he is compared to 2009 NECA remodeled remake Jason. I must say they are both good figurines. I mean this figurine is much smaller than the part than the part in the, in the remake. You see, but he's also hunched over and just got a great pose. Well, with that mask up. And also, if you don't like the mask, you probably just, if you have the remake, you can just probably take that off. Just put the remake mask and just slap that on over him. I mean, you have the hair, I mean, if that's, that's what you want to go for. for him. I mean, not us, it is your figure. You can do whatever you feel like. I really don't care. I'm gonna put that mask in here. So I'm gonna say detail wise, this is an amazing figure. I mean, the articulation is very different, very like un orthodox. I mean, you can't, a real figurine, you can't move his arm like that. But I mean, it's for. The time it was made, it's a pretty good detailed figure. With blood stains and everything. Right. Yes, I'm going to conclude this review and subscribe to my channel.